Processing payments in Salesforce can be complicated. This vital part of your business shouldn't take over a dozen steps to get through. That's why we created the Blackthorn Virtual Terminal. The Virtual Terminal allows you to perform all of these steps on a single screen. You can add it to any object, including opportunities, cases, or even custom objects. This terminal can be added virtually anywhere, such as Salesforce Lightning, Classic, and even the Salesforce One mobile app. And the best part? It's included with all of our subscription tiers at no additional cost. Now let's see the virtual terminal in action. Here's an opportunity that we won for this demonstration. The virtual terminal has been added to this page as a side component. If you would like to learn how to add the virtual terminal to your Salesforce pages, you can follow our virtual terminal documentation for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. At the top of the virtual terminal, you can see that there's a dropdown revealing two different actions. Selecting new payment method gives you a quick and easy way to add a card or ACH and immediately associate it with the account in this opportunity. We can fill out some of the information here to save a new charge card. Keep in mind that you also have the option to set this as the default payment method for this account. When you click save, your card details will be tokenized by your selected payment gateway to keep you PCI compliant. To charge the card that we just added into Salesforce, we can navigate back to the top of the virtual terminal and select new single charge. Your default payment gateway will be pre-populated in the virtual terminal. If you would like to pre-populate other common fields, like the account that is related to this charge and the amount, you can do so by going into the custom metadata types in the Salesforce setup. Let's do that now. Under the custom metadata types, look for the manage records button next to the virtual terminal mapping. In this demonstration, I've already created the account and amount mappings, but let's view them so you can see as well. In the account mapping metadata, you can see the source object and field are the opportunity account and the target object and field are the transaction and account. Let's look at the amount mapping now. The same concepts apply here and for any other virtual terminal mapping you might want to do. We have the source object and field as the opportunity amount and the target object and field as the transaction amount. Returning to the virtual terminal in our opportunity, we can refresh the page and see that the account and amount have pre-populated themselves into the fields that we just mapped them to. Now we can finish this transaction. We will select the payment method we just created for this demo, and then we'll add in a description if needed. And finally, we can select one of three options to process this transaction. We can capture it now, capture it on a future date, or authorize it to put a hold on the card. When we hit process, the transaction will be created and processed. If we open the transaction, we can see how this record is related to everything we just mapped. From this screen, you can also offer a full or partial refund directly from this transaction in Salesforce. This will create a new refund transaction and relate it back directly to the transaction record we initially created by charging the card. If you would like to start processing payments with our virtual terminal, you can find us on the App Exchange by searching Blackthorn Payments.